Our first guest tonight is a prolific and award-winning writer, actor, director, and producer. You know from his work in the Medea movies. His latest project, Divorce in the Black, will be available to stream July 11th on Prime Video. Please welcome back to the show, Tyler Perry, everybody. <laughs> Kate's killing it, right? Kate's killing it. Kate Kate's knows what killing she's it. Doing. Yeah, Kate yeah, knows yeah. What she's doing. How you doing? I'm good. I was lucky enough to see you. I guess it was last month at the Pen America Awards yes. here in New York City. Yes. Uh, you introduced the two uh, Georgia election workers. Yeah. Uh, who basically been, you know, uh, basically besmirched, had their reputations besmirched. What's that? What's that word? Besmirched. Okay, it's, uh, great. I've got to look. I got a brand new calendar. I'm going to get you one. Okay, it's great. One word a day. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ruby Freeman and Shay Moss. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and you introduced them, and they spoke about the incredible journey uh, they've been on. Yeah. Um, and you know, you're obviously based in Georgia. Uh, these are sort of two heroes from Georgia. And and what was one of the reasons you wanted to come up to New York City and present for for the two of them? Well, I just think that it's so important that anybody who's working our elections feel that they are important and that they should not be ostracized for just doing their jobs. And they and they went through some hell. They, they went through some hell. Yeah. So I wanted to be here for that for sure. It was very. It was a very special night. As we were saying backstage, you know, they were in front of a big audience. Yeah. Uh, New Yorkers, and, and they were uh, they were incredibly Embraced. inspirational. Yes, yes, yeah. a standing ovation for them. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, really that was wonderful. Um, your uh, your son is nine. Yes, yes. Uh, what now? I know you've done some work and stuff. He's seen. You uh, had a voice in the Paw Patrol movie. Yeah, I did for him. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. did it for him. For him. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Just for him. You 100 percent would not have done that if it wasn't for him. Oh no, of course I, I would have done it for everybody. No, I did it for my kid. <laughs> <laughs> No. Now, uh, does he have any sense of uh, what you do? Other he, than... he does now. Okay. He does now, yeah. Because he, there was this, this one little moment where he uh, was complaining about being on a commercial airline because he flies with me all the time. <laughs> and his mom heard him, and they have not been on my plane since. Really? Oh, yeah. She flies Coach Delta with him everywhere they go. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's been two years. I mean, she, she's, she's the a... hero. Yes, yeah, she is. She is. <laughs> Because I'm telling you something, I'm not getting my ass on it. I, 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 I have worked too hard. Listen, I am not apologizing. I have worked too hard to be able to have this plane. He has not worked one day in his life. No. So, no. He That's should, amazing. He'll enjoy Delta. And she's like, you need to take him out. No, no, you're going to do that. I'll be okay. You're like, I think, the I think he'll really learn the lesson if from he's you. with you. Yeah. From you, yeah, from you. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you talk about you put the work in, you've earned it. You've yeah. also talked about, because again, it seems like this maybe has been easy when everybody sees what you've accomplished, but you had early failures. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't look at them as failures anymore. Then I thought they were failures, but looking back on it now, everything taught me something to prepare me for this moment. So I tell everyone, like, if you think you're failing, I don't know, just when you get to the other side of it, you look back and go, wow, that wasn't a failure as much as it was a lesson to teach me of where I need to be and what I needed to do in life. So, yeah. But you were, I mean, to put this in, in full context, I mean, you were living out of your car yeah, at one yeah, point. So, yeah. I mean, that when you're doing that, you're not thinking to yourself, like, this is a lesson, right? No, like, of yeah. course not. <laughs> of course not. Oh, I'd love to be, like, Instagram ready. Oh, this is a lesson I want everybody <laughs> to do. As I'm putting up the top on my Geo Metro to go to sleep tonight. No, 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 no. So what keeps you going? Like, when you look back at those days, like, what do you feel like kept you going the most um, in the car days? This is what I tell people. If that there's something in, if it's in you, if that's your dream and it's in you, it won't let you rest. You yeah. have to go for it. And the minute you try to stop, it'll keep reminding you to keep going and keep going. So it was my prayers and my faith and the things my mother taught me about church and God that kept me going through all of it. So it, that, that's what got me through it, for sure. You actually considered a, a life in the clergy. Yes, yes. And you, uh, it was so no, 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 Seth, I was called to be a <laughs> minister. But then you were also called to fly private. Yes, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> well, listen to me. A lot of ministers are flying private <laughs> these days. True, that's, that's, true. that's a lot of them. But no, I, I was I did the sermon. <laughs> this is early. I did my first sermon, and you know how you have to do it in front of the church and the, and the pastor was how there. How old are you? How old? I'm probably 18 or 19. Okay, gotcha. And I do the sermon and you know, I'm making jokes about Jesus and his shoes, and <laughs> and the pastor gets up, man, he was brutal. He's like, you know, God calls many people, but sometimes he hasn't called you. <laughs> So I'm like, well, maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this here. So, so. But it's helpful sometimes when you have someone in your life who can see what path you're on, and they gently point you in the other direction. He wasn't gentle. He wasn't gentle. <laughs> he believed in a rod, <laughs> lightning oh, and thunder. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have a lot more to ask you, including yes. about the new film. We'll be right back yes. with more yes. from Tyler Perry.